everyone, I'm Lauren McBride and welcome to my ombre workshop. In this workshop I'm going to show you how to create a two colour ombre, a three colour ombre and a baby boomer using gel polish. I really hope you enjoy it, so let's get started. So welcome to my ombre workshop. Um, in this workshop I'm going to teach you how to create three different ombre designs. So this is using two colours in the orange and the pink. Okay, And then I have got a three colour ombre. So I've got a dark purple, a lighter purple going into pink. And then the what is known as the baby boomer, so the French ombre. Okay, so I'm just going to pop those to one side and I'm going to do the double ombre, so the orange and the pink first. So I've got my tips. These are not prepared in any way, shape or form as you can see, but obviously if we were doing this on a client, we would have prepped the nail and gone in with our base coat. I'm not doing that on these tips because there's no need to because it's a nice clean smooth surface for me to work on. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my orange and what you need to remember and bear in mind when you are doing an ombre is to make sure that you're using colours that are next to each other on the colour wheel okay? because they will blend better. You can't go using like a red and a blue, for example, or you could, but the ombre wouldn't be as good as what it could be. So I've just gone in with my orange and that's going to be at the base. And now I'm going in with my pink. So I'm not touching these two colours together, but I'm going as close as I can. And just using a nice thin layer because we obviously don't want the thickness of these colours to build up too much on our client's nail. So I'm actually going to be using an ombre brush. So as you can see, the bristles on this brush are quite thick at the bottom um, and then they taper out into finer bristles. And this one is from Crystal Nails and it's the Ombre Pro. Um, and I just find working with an ombre brush for me is the easiest way to create a seamless ombre. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start in my orange and I'm going to start about midway down of where my orange section is and I'm just going to start to ever so lightly tap my product. So you can see I'm using hardly any pressure whatsoever and I'm just tapping that product down into my pink. So I'm now starting to pick up some pink and tap that down all the way into my pink. Okay. Now gel polish doesn't like to be played with too much. It likes to settle. So you need to be really patient when you're doing your ombre. I'm just going to do that again. So I'm going to tap halfway through my orange into my blend section using really gentle tapping motion from side to side and then tap out into my pink. All right. So now I'm going to do that again. So it's always worth remembering to do everything with an ombre three times. So you need to work with the power of three. So if I was doing this on a client's nail, I'd do one finger, do it on the next finger, and so on and so forth, and then come back and do it my second work across all fingers and then go ahead and do my third. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp and that's going to go in for a full 30 second cure. So that now has now had a full cure and I'm going to do exactly the same again. So I'm going to apply my orange 
into the section that it was before but I'm not going to take it down into the blend section and now I'm going to do the same with my pink and pop that on the tip but not take it in to the blend section okay so what I'm going to do is exactly the same is start tapping that product out down into my blend section all the way and then into my pink okay I'm going to clean off my brush slightly and do exactly the same again tapping it down in a really light feathered motion into my pink and again using the power of three tapping it out into that pink all the way to the tip of the nail and again I'm going to cure that for a full cure okay so that nail has ha now had a full cure and I'm going to go in again with the power of three and do my orange and take it slightly down into that blend section and the same with my pink So you may feel that all of that blending that you've done prior to these coats that we're putting on now is a waste of time, but it's not. It's all building up to that blend. So I'm going to do exactly the same again and tap out that product. But with our third application, it's slightly different because this is our final application of the gel polish so I'm just gonna tap that out and then I'll show you how this coat is slightly different if you feel an area needs a little bit more blending then by all means do more tapping in that area so now what I'm going to do I'm actually going to tap the other way so I'm going to start in my pink and work my product upwards into the orange just to help to feather out that ombre okay and then again I'm going to come down into my pink with my orange And if you see any areas that need that little bit more work, which is normally the edges or the area by the side wall. Okay, now once you've done your three lots of tapping, just to blend that a little bit more, what I'm actually going to do is use sideway action and I'm going to use that going into the orange so midway into my orange and carry that orange down and what this helps to do is it helps remove any tapping marks and again I'm going to do the same on the other side don't try and do it all in one go because what will happen is your gel polish will start to collect at the highest point of the tip and you'll end up with like a puddle so just carrying that down and then carrying it back up again into the orange and then because we've done both sides we need to do that top section so 
carrying it over the orange all the way down and then back up from the pink into the orange. Okay, again, I'm going to pop that in for a full cure. Okay, so that nail has now come out from a full cure. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pink up that pink slightly because it's still slightly too see-through. And I want a little bit more pigment in there. So I'm not redoing the orange, I'm just redoing the pink. I'm going to clean off my brush. Make sure it's nice and dry because I don't want any gel residue in there. I'm just going to tap in that blend section. Because I don't want to take any product away from the opaque of the pink. So tap, tap, tap. I'm going to pop that in now for a full cure. Okay, so that has now come out from its full cure and I'm going to matte top coat this. Now the reason I'm using matte top coat is purely for the purposes of this video so we don't get any shine on that nail uh, so you guys can see it better. But you can do this shiny, you can do it matte, you can use... Um, no wipe top coat, it's entirely up to you. But just for the purposes of the video, I'm using matte. So I've given that a nice generous coat of matte top coat and I'm gonna pop that in for a full cure. While that one's curing, I'm gonna move on to the next nail. So this actually uses three colors. So we've got our dark purple, our light purple and our pink. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pop my dark purple in that bottom section or the cuticle section. I'm using quite a generous amount because we need to be able to tap out that product. Okay. And then I'm going in with my lighter purple just in that midsection. So taking it up as close as we can to that line that we've put in with our dark purple. And then I'm going to use the pink. On the free edge section. So these are all quite even, they don't have to be even sections if that's not the look that you're going for, but that's what I've chosen to do, okay? So I've allowed for that gel to settle, I'm just going to go in with my ombre brush and tap that product out. So I'm starting in my dark purple, I'm going down into my light purple. Now what a lot of people tend to do is clean their brush because they're concerned that they're now going to start to go into the pink. You don't have to do that, that's the beauty of an ombre brush because if I just show you, the product starts to travel up the bristles of the brush so you just end up working with the colour that you're working in rather than the colour this dark purple up here. So I'm just again using a really light tapping motion all the way down to the tip of the nail. So I'm just going to show you on the side of my hand we're not doing this we're literally doing this okay so it's the lightest of touches 
we're literally just touching that polish and teasing it down we're not doing this okay so again with the power of three I'm going to do exactly the same again so I'm going to start midsection of my dark purple taking it down literally working millimeter by millimeter in sections across the nail down into my lighter purple and carrying that through into my pink. I'm going to clean my brush and do the same again. Working all the way down to the bottom or the free edge of my nail. Okay, so I'm now going to pop that in for a full cure. While that one's curing, I'm just going to show you my uh, orange and pink. So this is a wipe off matte top coat. So I'm just going to wipe that off. And show you the finished result. So you can see we've got a nice ombre, no hard lines between that pink and purple. And that can be done with any colour. Okay, so you can see I've used a slightly different pink there. It can be done with any colourway, as long as they're next to each other on the colour wheel. So this one has now fully cured and I'm going to do exactly the same as what we did on our double ombre. I'm going to go in with my dark purple again just in the section that we wanted it up to that blend line. I'm going to use my light purple in that mid section. Obviously we're having to keep our eye on this mid section with two blend lines because we've got one at the top and one at the bottom. And then in with my pink on the tip. So with a nice clean ombre brush I'm going to do exactly the same working in that mid section of my first colour, working that product down using a tapping motion into that light purple all the time just tapping you're not pulling you're not brushing the product you're just tapping what a lot of people tend to do is tap and then pull you don't want to do that you don't want to pull the product into each other too much you just want to create a blend line all the way to the tip. I'm going to clean my brush and go again, making sure it's nice and dry. We don't want a wet brush. Again, just tapping that product out. You need a lot of patience with ombre. You can't do one blend and expect that ombre to be perfect because it won't be. You've got to work at it. Okay. And again, I'm going to do it for a third time.
I'm going to pop that in for a full cure. So that nail has now come out of a full cure and I'm going to do exactly the same again but I'm not going to go as far up into my blend line as what I did for the last two. Because this is this third layer is almost like blending the blend. If that makes sense. I'm not blending the colours anymore. We just want to blend the blend. Okay. So that's my three colours applied, and you can see if I turn the nail, I've come to here with my dark purple with my light purple and I've left a gap on the blend line. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to tap that out into the blend line in the same way that we did with the other two layers. And then blend it down into my lighter purple blending that lighter purple down into the blend line and then my pink into the blend line so I'm not working with a lot of product at all But it's helping to create that really soft blend into the blend line rather than into one another this time. They are now touching, but there's because there's not so much product, it's enabling the blend that we've done before to come through. So now what I'm going to do as this is our third time on our third layer, I'm going to get rid of any of those little pat marks and blend that dark purple down into the light purple and then the light purple down into the pink just on that one side. I'm going to clean my brush, do exactly the same again using a really light, hardly touching the nail, a really light feathering motion. My dark into my light and then my light into my pink. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over the top as well. Dark into my light, light into my pink. If there's any areas that need any extra attention like this area here I'm just going to do exactly the same again and go back through and blend it out. Okay I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure. Okay so while that's in the lamp I'm going to start on my baby boomer. So a baby boomer is a twist on a classic French. So it is the white and the pink, but obviously it's blended. So we haven't got a smile line. It's just the white and the pink blended into one another. Okay, so with a baby boomer, it's exactly the same process as a two color ombre but obviously using your pink and white so when you come to choose your pink you need to make sure that it's a nice opaque pink rather than a see-through pink or transparent pink because you need to create that depth of color with the pink but you can use a shimmery pink a um a peachy pink, a pink pink, it's entirely up to you, but you need to make sure that you have got that depth of colour to your pink to create the ombre. So I've just gone in with my pink, 
probably two thirds and then the final third being my white and I've bumped up that colour as close as I can and just letting that gel settle and again using my ombre brush I'm going to tap that product out so going into my pink first going down into the blend area just using that really light tapping feathering motion taking it through the blend zone and out into my white so I'm just going to clean off my brush and I'm going to do exactly the same again because like all the others we need to do it three times so again blending out the blend area and you can also use a creamy white or a white that has a little bit of shimmer in it's entirely up to you And again, doing it for the third time, dispersing that colour in that blend area out into my white. Okay, there's a little area there that I just need to tap a little bit more. And I'm going to pop that in for a full cure. So while my Baby Boomer is curing, I'm just going to top coat my three colour blend. Again, for the purposes of the video, I'm using a matte top coat, but you can use a shiny top coat or a no wipe top coat. It's entirely up to you. Again, I'm going to pop that in for a full cure. So my baby boomer is now cured and I'm going to do exactly the same again. So I'm going to go in with my pink, two thirds with the pink up to that blend line and then the last third on the free edge I'm going to pop my white in again. Don't worry too much about going over that blend line because it all helps to add to the overall ombre. So with a clean dry brush I'm starting to tap in my pink just to disperse that colour into the blend zone using really light feathering motions and I haven't butted the colour up too close to one another this time because I'm now working on the blend zone. So again Dispersing down into my pink, into my white, tapping out that colour all the way to the free edge, cleaning off my brush and again like all the other ombres that we've done, doing that three times, being really patient with our gel polish, letting it do what it likes to do and disperse and that's why we use such a light tapping motion because gel polish doesn't like to be played with too much it retracts and constricts every time we touch it that gel polish is constricting and we want it to be able to have time to relax during each time that we tap the product So I'm now working on that blend in the blend zone and tapping that product out into the white. I'm going to do it again for a third time. Working in my blend zone. being really patient there's just a slight area there that I want to tap out a little bit more and I'm going to tap that up into the pink okay 
I'm going to pop that in for a full cure. So while that one's curing, I'm just going to wipe off the residue on that matte top coat. Three color blend. And you can see we've got our ombre there of our dark purple, our lighter purple going down into our pink. Okay, so I'm now going to do our third coat of our baby boomer. So our pink and white. Bringing that up, but not over into that blend section. So you can see we've got our blend section here. We don't want to overload that now with product. We're just enhancing our colours of the pink and especially the white as well. So it may seem that we've got three thicker layers of product, but we haven't because when we're tapping it out, we're dispersing that product and we're removing quite a lot of that product. So because I've left the gap, I'm now blending that pink into the blend and dispersing the product and tapping it all the way through that blend zone down into my white and then dispersing that hard line of my white into that blend zone and it's at this stage we get the opacity of the white at the tip okay I'm going to do that for a second time so just cleaning off my brush and again tapping into that blend zone And those colours are now meeting into the white and the blend zone. Okay, and then for the third time, like I have on all the others, I'm going to go this way. So I'm just removing those tapping marks. So just really lightly feathering out that pink into that blend zone and going out into my white doing the other side so starting off in my pink blending that out into the white I've got a bit of fluff there that I'm just going to remove I'm just going to do that again So it's at this stage that we're blending the blend. Then I'm just going to go on top on that curvature. So like I've done with all the others, you don't want to try and do this across the entirety of that curve because the product is going to collect on the highest point of the nail. I'm just going to blend that out a little tiny bit more. Don't want to play with it too much. You can see I'm hardly touching the nail as well. And I'm going to pop that in for a full cure. So my baby boomer is now fully cured and I'm going in again with my matte top coat. This helps to even out the surface of the nail. I'm 
I'm going to pop that in for a full cure. So while that's fully curing, I'm just going to go through the three nails that we've created today. So we have got our pink and orange ombre. Okay, we've got our three colour ombre. So we've got our dark purple, our light purple and our pink. And then the baby boomer, which is just about to come out of the lamp. So I'm just going to show you a close up of those. And you can see we've got a nice soft fade on our ombres. We've been really patient with our gel polish and that is the trick to this. Don't try and do a perfect ombre in the first coat or even the second coat. It's in the third coat that it really comes together. And a lot of people try and get that perfect blend in the first two coats, but it's the third coat that allows for that blend to happen. But the first two coats are all building up to that third blend. So my baby boomer is now fully cured. So I'm just going to wipe that over with some gel wipe off solution. Obviously, if you're using a no wipe um, matte top coat or shiny top coat, then you don't have to do this. And you can see we have got a nice subtle blend. We've kept the white white, we've kept the pink pink, but that blend zone is really nice and subtle and faded into one another. This is also really popular for brides. So that completes our ombre workshop. So we've got our double blend, our triple blend, and our baby boomer. I really hope you've enjoyed this workshop, and if you did, please make sure you click the like button. If you want to see any future workshops, make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you next time.